thank you, especially thank you to the government of Canada and the government of Mexi Mexico to help us as well to promote the event and to support this initiative to connect Canada and Latin America. So I'd like to uh, introduce Ambassador Mario Chacon to give some welcoming remarks. Thank you so much, Ambassador. Thank, thank you. Morning. Well, it's uh, for Mexico City standards, it's early morning. But um, you will see there will be uh, more people coming later on. And, uh, well, I work for ProMexico. ProMexico is the investment and trade promotion agency of Mexico. We belong to the Ministry of Economy. And we have uh, 48 offices abroad and 30 offices in Mexico. And um, we have uh, a strategic relationship with Canada. We have been working very, very hard in many fields. We have three offices in, in Canada, Vancouver, Toronto, and Montreal. And uh, uh, we, I, we, I am very happy of being here in Startup Mexico. Marcus Dantus is always uh, uh, the perfect host. Uh, whenever we have uh, foreign delegations, we bring them here because this is something really new, something very special. And uh, this is the way that uh, we prove that we are trying to promote uh, the young people, the new entrepreneurs, uh, people that are starting new businesses. And I think that's the future. That's the future. We are so happy of uh, working with strategic partners like INADEM, like Tech de Monterrey, where I know you were yesterday, with TECBA, with DMZ from the University of Ryerson. And uh, I am happy that uh, we have people here from Peru, Colombia, Brazil, Argentina. I spent four wonderful years in Colombia as an ambassador, so I love uh, Colombia, and I have traveled all around Latin America. By the way, I was also ambassador to Venezuela for two years. Quite an experience. And, um, you know, in ProMexico, we have um, the goal <clears throat> of promoting the internationalization of uh, Mexican enterprises. Uh, we want to help young people go abroad and start a new business. And we have been working very, uh, very strongly with uh, Canada and especially with uh, Quebec, we are trying to help Mexican companies that work in the creative industries field. And uh, they are producing software, video games, and uh, we want to help them very much. In Mexico, we are helping Creative Digital City in Guadalajara that is uh, going to be the center of a new development in the creative industries. And um, we uh, want to help uh, all young people to flourish, to prosper. And uh, I want to uh, say thank you for the organizers of this event, LATAM Startups 3.0. And uh, I hope the best for this day of work. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Ambassador. Thank you so much for those welcoming words. Really happy to hear that. All the support that we got from the government of Mexico and from Mexico has been just incredible. Thank you so much. So now we are going to hear some words uh, from the Embassy of Canada. Uh, the Trade Commissioner Office here, uh, Nadine Naji, is coming with some opening remarks as well. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam. It's an honor to be here today to open the first LATAM Startups Conference in Mexico. Um, I'd like to especially thank Embajador Chacon for, for, for being here and for all the speakers. I know it's, uh, it's a lot of time to come all the way to Mexico, but it's appreciated and I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to help us build a relationship between uh, Mexico and Canada and all the other countries participating here today. Um, Miriam was saying that there's countries from Canada, Mexico, Colombia, Chile, Peru, 
Costa Rica, United States, Argentina, and Brazil. And Miriam, that is quite an accomplishment, so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you and your team for organizing this great event. You know, it's a real pleasure for, for the Embassy and for the Government of Canada to support organizations like yours that, uh, that work towards ensuring that innovation continues to be a key driver of economic growth. Um, you may not know, but this event is actually quite timely as Canada and Mexico look to renew their bilateral relationship. Uh, you may be aware that uh, President Enrique Peña Nieto was in Canada in June, and uh, they seem to have a very good relationship, our two leaders. They agreed that we need to get more students together, strengthen our business relationships, and we need to create sustainable economic growth for all our people. One of the big announcements that came out of that visit was the lifting of the visa. So uh, December 1st, no Mexican visitors will need a visa to go to Canada. And I think this will allow more Mexicans to visit and to see for themselves why Canada is recognized for its STI strengths, including research excellence, a highly educated population, and one of the world's most desirable business and research climates. Um, I'm just going to touch on this briefly. Another important development that came out of the visit was the creation of what's called a high-level strategic dialogue. And it was created to further elevate and deepen our relationship. Um, Canada's Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Honorable Stefan Dion, was actually in Mexico City yesterday. So they had a very good first edition of this group. And one of the pillars and topics that was discussed is economic prosperity. In Canada, we know that science, technology, and innovation are key elements for Canada to succeed both at home and internationally. And uh, on that note, I understand that um, Tech de Monterrey and DMZ will be signing an agreement this afternoon to promote cross-landing for startups from both countries. Um, if, you, if you aren't aware, DMZ is the number one university business incubator in North America. Um, and they will also announce the next steps following what was signed during the state visit between ProMexico Latin, and Latin startups. So there's lots moving forward, and uh, it's great for us at the embassy and for the government of Canada to see STI taking a big role in our relationship. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. I wish you all a very productive conference. And I'm going to put a little plug here for Miriam. I hope you all think of participating in the 4.0 edition of the LATAM conference, which will take place in Toronto in 2017. And I'm not going to go into too much detail because I know that we have a very special video. Our Governor General of Canada, His Excellency David Johnson, has prepared a special message. So uh, I encourage you to take a look. So thank you. It's a pleasure to send my greetings to all those gathered for the LATAM Startups Conference 3.0. I had the opportunity to attend this conference last year in Toronto, and I'm delighted that Canadians are now in Mexico to discuss collaboration and innovation. They are vital to our future. Our world has benefited from people working together to make things better, whether economically or socially. Working together can lead to innovation through the sharing of ideas and resources. As Governor General, I visited Mexico, Brazil, Colombia, Peru, Guatemala, and Chile. I've been to these places and I can say with some certainty, we're all innovative across borders. J'ai vu comment les jeunes entreprises peuvent contribuer au succès du Canada et de l'Amérique latine. As you well know, there is so much more we can do particularly in sharing our precious commodity, knowledge. Why do we need to share knowledge? Because knowledge shared is knowledge doubled and tripled and quadrupled. And the more we share knowledge, the greater chance we have for innovation and breakthrough. How do we do it? By attending gatherings such as this one, where you are exposed to new ideas and creative solutions. Last year, I asked the participants of the conference to imagine a hemisphere of innovation and I'd like to repeat that call today. Canada can compete with the best in the world when it comes to innovation. And when you combine that with Latin America's diverse strengths, there exists so much potential for cooperation between businesses and people. J'encourage les entrepreneurs de l'Amérique latine à penser au Canada 
au moment de fonder leur entreprise. Par le fait même, j'incite les Canadiens à se tourner vers l'Amérique latine. To those of you from Latin America, I encourage you to think of Canada when starting your businesses. And to Canadians, I urge you to turn your attention to Latin America. Only when we work together can we unlock the possibilities that exist in our globalized world. If change is the new constant and if innovation is imperative to our success, then collaboration is how we will achieve great things for our respective nations. I wish all of you an enlightening conference. Well, as you can see, we're really glad to have all the support of Government of Canada on this. Uh, the Governor has been always very supportive with all our initiatives, and we are here to tell you Canada and Latin America need to work together. We need to do much and more, you know, together. Uh, so please, meet each other, do business, you know, close cross-landing programs, self-landing programs, uh, you know, learn about the startup visa, do all that you have to do in order to you know, do more agreements and do more links between Canada and Latin America. You hear many times, uh, I know here we have some startups and uh, we have some leaders and we hear many times people saying you are too little, you are not, you know, you are not enough for this market. Just forget about those words. You know what you are doing. You know what you are doing is important for the economy of your country. It's important to create more jobs. It's important to pay more taxes so the government can help as well, you know, return into the community. So please, you know, keep going. Keep going with your work. We are here to help you, to connect. But you are here just to keep going and do business. <laughs>